As the sun sinks below the western horizon and the blazing temperatures begin to cool, the sands of the Arizona desert still retain the heat of an inner fire. Jackson to put it in the air for the first time today in her ninth season of the SFL. Lobs it oh. intercepted! She was looking for Ryan Owens and all that she found was Remington James in the first major event goes to Fort Worth. The chance to put the Fort Worth Toros on the board and cash in on an early Remington James interception and she does just that in the regular season. Linebackers pressing up to the line. It's gonna be another check down. Stopping goal from Bacon and he's Ooh. short. And oh, J.C. No. Bacon is not getting up. A huge disaster for the Toros as their bell cow is down in the first quarter. And that is not what they need. We're talking about 1,100 yard uh, rusher this season getting absolutely crushed by Sean Moore, the inside linebacker, just didn't know where it was coming. Possible helmet to helmet hit out of that. Here's the other voice you're hearing on the broadcast today, Justin Reside and Top Kiefer. Our statisticians, Cameron Irvine, is as always running the broadcast behind there the it scenes. is. DJ Moses, third play of quarter number two, and he is gonna take it. 57 yards to the house. Touchdown, Scorpions. Einhorn punting from the back of his own end zone. Let's see how far this one flies. To the 35 yard line and to the 34. Moses, middle, great push from the offensive line on a first down. It's the stark difference because of the bacon injury, the rushing difference already. Moses leaps over a defender, gets down inside the 10. And off, Moses fighting for the goal line, and he's got it. That hasn't been used too often in this last eight or so minutes. It is gonna be Dunhill, Boy. but nobody's open, and cutting through the offensive line like a hot knife through butter is Hunter Norwood for the sack. For the blue on a blanket analogy, I think that one takes the cake. Dagger <laughs> over the middle, cut by TJ Punk. First down, Arizona, 45 seconds, they're gonna go up tempo. 23 total touches for DJ Moses so far in the first half. Jackson middle caught. First and goal at the 10. And a diving grab in traffic for TJ Punk. From just inside the three yard line, Jackson to throw. Middle incomplete. We have seen extra points blocked before. That's true. So nothing is off the table, but this time, Easy as you like, all the mechanics correct for the special teams unit. Three linebackers, they all go back into the flat. Here's Cameron and almost oh, no. ran into Garrett Jr. And now, Irvin Cameron oh my God. is hurt. Are you kidding me? It's a domino effect on the Fort Worth running backs. To running back, we'll see. Pass, middle, uh -oh. tipped, uh -oh. intercepted! Iverson Gamble says, I'll take that, and that may be the easiest interception of his season. First down for Arizona at the 45, delayed handoff to Moses, he gets a block, he gets outside, and a first down, 12 more yards for DJ, eventually tackled by Ben Stone. A celebration of 20 seasons and 10 years of SFL football on all pro football. You don't want to miss it. Wow. Going deep. Man, the catch is made. What a grab by Connor Weston as he went up and mossed Ben Stone. And you want to talk about Fort Worth having bad luck. Arizona has had all the good luck, especially in that throw there. Jackson gets it off just after she gets hit. And there you see it again, Connor Weston getting himself a moss of a catch, arguably in double coverage, and look at him with that swagger coming in. 
Right foot swings effortlessly through the ball and in from 23 yards, 20 to three. 17 point gap for Fort Worth. Interesting piece of knowledge here. Everett Garrison is sitting on 49 interceptions all time. One more would be number 50. Floated down the field and the big cowboy is rumbling down to the 25 yard line. Two total touches in the regular season for Aaron Alexander. They're mostly used as a blocker. Steven Hacker out of the backfield with space to work with. He's gonna pick up a first down at the 13 yard line and Fort Worth are in the red zone. No, oh, that's Charlie Baker. Do they run the ball here? They don't. It actually is Hacker. He breaks a oh! tackle and a beautiful spin move. Touchdown Toros. He, he played the he played the card of Jay-Z Bacon shedding off a tackle with a spin move to get himself in the end zone. And how about this? Two yards away. If it's gonna be another run, which it won't be, stop the running back, but deflections are key. All slam oh, picked it's off, it's and this one oh, will go all the oh. way. Fort Worth going the other way with it. Major momentum on the side of Fort Worth. This time they hand it off to Alexander, third down 11, and it's gonna take another big Dunhill throw to keep that momentum going and not go immediately three and out after the interception. 17 of 18 in the regular season, one for one today. It is no good, missed it to the left, and it's still a 10 point game with 5.40 to go. Not only a bit to the left, it was probably inches short as well. And again, another chance for DJ Moses and company to grind this clock down. Kick that sand through the hourglass. Pump fake from Jackson over the middle, and once again finding TJ Punk who's been the most reliable receiver all game. DJ oh, blocking. finds a hole and the blocking is perfect for another first down. Six receptions for 34 yards. Moses on a stretch play to the right. One oh, tackle to break and is in the open field. Gets a second tackle down the field. A long night. <laughs> 10.30 on the East Coast, and Moses supposes his toeses are roses as he dances into the end zone to complete his hat trick of rushing touchdowns and push the Arizona Scorpions to the title game. Yeah, that pretty much steals the deal here, unfortunately. Fort Worth, you gave it a hell of a fight, but that, that's, the fi that's the final nail. Opened the broadcast by saying the Arizona Scorpions still have a burning desire of unfinished business to claim the title that they believe is rightfully theirs. And, and to have it happen in a semifinal just goes to show you that anything can happen as a late touchdown is gonna come through for Cade Stevens. Ball hits hand, knee hits ground, and the Fort Worth Toros came in with the Stormtrooper uniforms, thinking they were the evil empire. But the only evil empire awaits circling above. The Vultures will swoop to Fatality Field next week and take on the Arizona Scorpions in a championship game rematch.